thank God for what he has done for us as a people. Amen. Amen. I, I, uh, and I know God, he ain't do yet. Amen. God got many more blessings. Uh -huh. You know, there's a, I got a, uh, I call it my, my Christian black history song. When I got saved, that's my history. Right? Right. And that's what's really count. Amen. Amen. I, I revised Little Wood Church. Mm. Let, let me just share the history of it. As a teenager, I, I, my, my, my parents went to the Macedonia Baptist Church in Jackson, Tennessee when it was located up there on Lane Avenue. That's across from where the Coliseum is there in Jackson. On Sunday morning, you used to couldn't get up through there to car so, yeah. so Pat, amen. And uh, I, I went to church one Sunday morning, didn't have joining church or nothing like that on my mind. I sat in the very back pew. And after the pastor Brock preached, and I mean the spirit was so high. And I sit there, and I ain't know nothing about no church. I ain't been going, and I, you know, I'm, I'm here to think our mama told me to come. <laughs> and, 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 but something started moving within me. Mm -hmm. yeah. And every time I could bring up an objection not to go in my mind, God, the Holy Spirit, would, would, would tell the pastor, I, I said, I'm ashamed. He, and he would say, well, he said, it's a shame to own me. I do shame on him before my father. Amen. And I said, I can't take on life. He said, I don't care if nobody laughs, but you all got listen, it seems like God was talking to every right. thought that the devil was putting in my mind not to go. God spoke through the man of God. Amen. And before I knew it, Sister Bertha, my feet had me up going. I said, feet, what y'all doing? <laughs> all right. That church was packed. And I had to walk from the very last pew all the way down. But once I took that one step, he was on I was on my way. Amen. Go, the old folks would say, you take one step. Oh, yeah, thank you. And he takes so, so I, 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 I got to thinking about that. That little old stone, that little stone building is still over there. Amen. <laughs> it's abandoned. It's boarded up. But but that's where I first found the Lord. I, I think a little song, and I'm, I'm going to do it. This is my... This is my this is my contributor to, to my Christian black history. Amen. Yeah, 
we're dealing with history. That seems to be the a amen. I, I thought to look at a passage, and this is a passage. Ah, uh, boy, it's a blessing to me. In the book of Acts, the 14th chapter, and I want to look at verse 27, the book of Acts, the 14th chapter, and verse 27, Acts 14, and verse 27. These words you will find from the King James Version. And when they were come and had gathered the church together, they rehearsed all that God had done with them and how he had opened the door of faith unto the Gentiles. Amen. When they had, when they were come and had gathered the church together, they rehearsed. They rehearsed. Amen. All. Oh. talk this morning about a church rehearsal. Amen. A church, church rehearsal. Author of the book of Acts. The passage that we pick up is the end of Paul's first missionary journey. Paul is a traveler. He has a lot of baggage. And all that baggage, there's a lot of tags. Amen. <laughs> he, he's been a lot of places. <laughs> As a tag with Israel, I come in. All of those cities surround him now. That, uh, he has some baggage. You know, all of us got some baggage. Amen. Amen. All of us have been some places and some done some things. Amen. Now, his first missionary journey, the Bible says when they got back to Antioch, they rehearsed all that God when I looked at this chapter and I began to read some detailed information about Paul's first missionary journey, I, I, I don't see a whole lot of good that really happened. He got ran out of every town seemed like he went to. In literal, they stoned him they drug him through the streets and left him for dead. Now, 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 let, let me tell you. Brother Prather, Sheriff, Bertha, Sheriff, y'all got every right to disagree with anything I say. You got every you don't have to say amen. You don't have to clap your hand. Matter of fact, if you just get so, so disgusted, you can get up and walk out the door. But for God's sake, don't drag 
me down Purdy Road. All right, man. Stone me and leave me for dead. Y'all were to do that. Every young preacher I meet for the rest of my life. I tell them, whatever y'all do, don't go to Selma, Tennessee, and Mount Zion Baptist Church. Right there. Right there. But that's what happened. Paul, on his first missionary journey, he, they, 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 he went to one place and healed a man that had never walked. And the folk went crazy. They tried to make him God. They said, the gods have come down to us. And they wanted to make him God. He said, hold it, hold it, hold it. We are men just like you. Amen. We lack passions just like you. You don't need to worship us and then the folk. Let me tell you something. When folk don't like you in one place, and when the devil is determined to try to put the word of God out of business, Folk followed him from Iconium and, and they followed him and they turned the people against him. That, that's when they drug him. <laughs> so I don't, when I read the text, when they got back to Antioch, mm -hmm. they rehearsed all that God had done with them and how he had opened the door to the Gentiles. Well, well that, that, that tells me something right there. When they got back and called the church together, they didn't dwell on the bad. Amen. But they talked about the good. All right. and, and I think that's what that, that, that's why we need a church rehearsal because we, 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 we sometimes we, we, we get too caught up on the bad stuff that happened in our life. And, and, and God wants us, when we come together, we ought to be reminded of how good God has been to us. And, 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 and sometimes I think that requires some rehearsal because if you're not careful, before you know it, you can get up and start talking. You start talking about what you've been through. You ought to talk about what God has brought you through and what God is doing. They, they rehearse. They had a church rehearsal. I wonder what, what a church rehearsal is really like. I, I, I mean, I don't say they had no, 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 no music, but they had a church rehearsal. They declared all that God had done with them and how he had opened the door. In other words, they didn't talk about the closed door. Did y'all hear what I said? But they talked about the door that God had opened. And you know, listen, let me tell you something. It, it ought to be, in order to have a church rehearsal, you have to come in a certain way. Amen. Y'all ain't, ain't hearing me. I, I, I say in order to have a, a, a church rehearsal, you got to bring the right spirit. Amen. Did you hear what I said? Yeah, you got to bring the right spirit if you want to really have a real church. And you know what rehearsal? You know, like when we come to choir rehearsal now, that's why I can't understand. We don't want to have no kind of rehearsal. All right, all right. Hey, man, we think we got so good, we don't need to rehearse on nothing. We just pull. <laughs> we just do it. We just throw out anything for the Lord. But I think y'all know That's why when, when we have rehearsal, you, you go over it till you get it. Right. That's what rehearsal is. The Bible said they rehearsed. They wanted to make sure that God got all the credit. Now, now, now you got to. You're going to have church. Have a church rehearsal. You got to bring the right spirit. All right, man. And, and, and what is the right spirit, preach? Well, I get a hint from Psalm 1 and when it said, make a joy from the Lord. Noise unto the Lord, all ye lands, and serve the Lord with gladness. Come upon his presence. Y'all ain't hear me. Listen, in other words, in order to have a showing up church rehearsal, you need to have a shouting spirit. <laughs> we are told in Psalm 100 to make a joyful noise. Unto the Lord. Let, 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 let me break it down and see what he's talking about. First, there is the word make. It means to make 
music and it's it, it usually referred to singing of psalms. Uh, yeah, then uh, there's the word joyful. And that word means to give a public confession of the attributes and the works of the law. Public confession. Mm -hmm. What you got to do, let, let me tell you what a real church rehearsal is. It, it's just a good testimony to sit there. Right. Amen. Is you telling how good God did you in regard to don't dwell on the negative, but dwell on the positive and rehearse it. Keep on telling it. Rehearse it over and over. How good God really been to you. Amen. You got to, and then if you start doing that, thirdly said, make a joyful noise. The word noise means to, to, to raise a shout. <laughs> It refers to a ringing cry, a cry that pisses the eardrum. In other words, it ain't no quiet, quiet. I can't understand why our churches, most of our churches really need a church rehearsal. All right. Because we're going to forget how to really have church. You know, the, the song I was saying, you can hear them singing. Praising and shouting before you enter thee. In the joy of the Lord, you will feel deep down within. That, that, that's when folks used to really pray the Lord. You see, we didn't have a lot of this other junk we got. We only had the, the Lord to depend on. Listen, and sometimes, it's sad to say, but sometimes God has to break us. In order to make us. Y'all yeah, ain't hearing me. Yeah, make, make a job of noise. You got to have, you ought to come in with a shouting spirit, but then you need to come in with a serving spirit. Amen. Right? You see, they have been on their first missionary journey, but guess what? They could be me. I'd been like Jeremiah Quinn. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> I, I, I'm on I'm on home mission, <laughs> but Paul went on a total of three mission. Their journey it didn't stop. Him. All right, it didn't get to him. He had a servant spirit. He wanted to do what the Lord had called him to do. All right, no matter how many doors. How many dragons, how many stonings, how many times he was left for dead. He didn't hear and said, listen, I, 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 in, my, in my life, later on, he said, we're troubled on every side. He said, listen, I've been in some horrible fixes. I've been shipwrecked. I've been beaten. I, I, I've been left for dead. I've been by a serpent, I, but God brought me all the way. All and that's right. what we got to learn to do. We got to learn how to stop dwelling oh, on the negative stuff. Yeah, oh, I could, I could write oh. you a book of how folk are mistreated me. I could write you a book on how folk have misused me. How I've been done so wrong. But that ain't important. That ain't gonna help nobody. But I need to tell y'all how in every situation, God, with his mighty hand, brought me out. Yeah, that's what I need to rehearse. And I need to tell that story everywhere I go. Yeah, I got a story to tell. And I thank God I need to rehearse it. Yeah, I, rehearse. That means I need to tell it and retell it. Yeah. Yeah. I, I need to keep on telling it till I tell it exactly right. And, and when you retell it and you keep on telling it, somebody will get the message yeah. that God been mighty good to me. Amen. And regardless of what I've been through, listen, it, it, ain't, it, ain't, it ain't the ideal of me going through it, 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 it's the idea of how God brought me and 
can't have the other side, that side, but do look. <laughs> Listen, matter of fact, I, 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 I got to rehearse how good God been. Matter of fact, it, it gets so good when I start really thinking about it, when I start showing up rehearsing, looking back over my life. Mm -hmm. I, 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 when I face a problem now, I, 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 I don't have to wait till the battle is over. I can shout right now because I know my God will always come out a winner. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, a church rehearsal. Oh, I just wonder what one, a real church rehearsal, would be like. You, you see, I know, Cheryl, you got a story you could tell. All right. Praise God, you got a story, Sharon, Sister Bertha, Patricia, Patricia, all of us. Listen, even these little kids. <laughs> yeah, because they've been watching. They've been hanging around mom, grandma. They've been seeing some stuff they couldn't really understand. But I want you to know that God's hand is almighty. Yeah, yeah. That, that's why I, I'm not worried. But you got to come in, not only with a shout the spirit, but you got to be willing to serve. Amen. Amen. Don't don't come in and just shout and think you ain't got nothing to do. Y'all ain't here. Right. You ought to serve the Lord while you can, because I know that serving the Lord it will pay off. Amen. Yeah, but then you gotta come in, mm -hmm. Sister Cheryl, with the same spirit. I can I can pass that one up. I just can't pass that one up. You just help me. She said she working on it. You got to come in <laughs> with the same spirit. <laughs> Because I'm happy. I'm happy. Yeah. I sing because I'm free. Yeah. His eye is on the sparrow. And I sing because I know if he's watching sparrows, what? he's watching over, Amen. over me. Yeah. I, I'm going to get out of here, but come on in with the same spirit. All right, the Bible said when they got back to Antioch, they gathered the church together. They called the church of God together. Yeah. And the Bible says they rehearsed all that God had done for them. And how God had opened up a door for them. Y'all ain't God really good? Amen. Yes, I don't know about you today. But uh, I would today if we could just have a good church of her. I would want Sunday morning. Y'all say, well, you ain't got to preach this morning. We got something that we want to testify about. Start singing and start singing. Yeah. I don't know uh, what that rehearsal was like, but let me use uh, my spiritual imagination. Yeah. I imagine uh, in a church rehearsal, uh, some mother uh, would get up and testify.